Nice. I like the, the dramatic music. Oh, that's the about screen. Fair enough. Right, I'm going to create a new profile. Oh, that's good. This frame rate is way too high. So like Car Mechanic, the idea is you're given jobs. Job order number one, welcome to the game. Your first mission will be a simple train repair, so you can become familiar with the basics of the game. Your task will be repairing a locomotive in which the steel and rubber springs in the front truck have become damaged. Iron brew coloured train. Yeah, improve. Yeah, it's an iron brew coloured train. I think they were going for a BNSF, but it's sort of more iron brew coloured. I'm going with that. Right, motor truck! In this mode, you can strip down. Excellent. Right, well, these are the steel and rubber springs. So let me uh, undo them. That's the other one. You can tell what they are because they're all, they're all, um, you can see they're um, messed up. Right, now we need to go, if I escape out of that, I can walk around again. Go to the um, mechanics workbench. <coughs> we can repair these. <coughs> Which is always preferable to buying new parts. Oh no, I appreciate it, it was unlicensed being so I was more going on the way the orange looks. Right, so there's a phenomenal amount of detail in there, really. There. Now I need to go into installation mode, and I need to select a steel and rubber spring. Screw that back in. It's the one time I am allowed to screw it up. You see. Select that one. That's it. Go into the job order and finish. No, it's not accurate at all, Ed. It's not the point. Car mechanic simulator was the same. It's not really trying to be accurate. It's trying to sort of create a themed puzzle game. I'll tell you what I am going to do. Let's just turn that sound off. Hear what I'm doing. Right, let's do the second one. Right, okay. Driver complains about a faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This order is slightly more difficult. Remember that each pipe, uh, part type is repaired on a different workbench. If you're not able to repair the part yourself, you can buy a new part. Three parts that we're looking at here. <coughs> I want to get up here and press the E key. Why can't I climb on board? Why do you hate fun? What's going on with that? Looks like they've got some normals back to front somewhere. Oh look, there's the door there, look. What is this locomotive? It's kind of... Let's walk up the steps over here. What is this train? It's kind of wanting to be like an SD70, isn't it? Ish. But not really. 
Right, let's have a look at the brakes then, shall we? Wonder if we can go down. We can go down here. Whoop. Let's have a look under here. Yay! No, we won't. Let's just go above. Lift the whole train off. How do you get Twitch to add a game to the list? You have to get added onto Giant Bomb's website. Hey, Alu14, welcome back. Right, okay, so if we look, we can start, we can already see some bits that are a bit messed up. So if I use testing mode, I can test that and it gives me a colour rating on it so I can see how these bits are all are. Without actually having to take them off, and all these red ones need to come off. So disassembly mode. In order to get that bit off, I need the that bit. So that bit come off. That bit needs to be uh, unscrewed. Oh, I need to get the brake itself off. Now I can get rid of that one. Right, now it's got all of those bits off. Now there are only three bits on the list to be done. Let's see if we can repair. Just look for rust, yeah, basically. <coughs> so those bits are all in sort of in bad way. Brake caliper arm, that's got 100% chance, so let's repair it. 31% chance, 900. Let's have a look at the high... This, is this the other one? Hydraulics workbench. That's only got a 31% chance of repair, so I'm not going to do that. Right, so well, let's bring up yonder tablet. Uh, T, of course. And we need... I forgot what we need. <laughs> Hydraulic brake piston and a brake caliper. Hydraulic brake piston. Um, whoops. Mechanical brake caliper. Add that to the order. Looks slightly over what they were expecting it to be. Well, it was been a heck of a gamble to try and repair it. Then it would have been a lot more expensive. Right. Now to put it all back together again, I need to installation mode. Put that in. Put the screws on. And then I can select that bit and put the new brake caliper in. Select that bit. Put the new one on. And then we have to put that one on. Right, let's bring up the work order. Three parts, finish the order. It's a brake hanger, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> what happens when you have bits left over after reassembly? <coughs> I don't think it lets you finish until you've actually put everything back together again. Let me bring the tablet up, because the other thing you can do with money is upgrade your workshop. So I'm going to get the uh, these two improved. And then let's go and do the third one. Sometimes the tasks will involve finding and repairing locos that were damaged somewhere in the other routes... Uh, in the roots of the game world and then towing them to the appropriate workshops and making repairs. For this purpose you'll use a special repair train. This time a diesel locomotive broke down in square D1. Locate it and, show and tow it to the workshop. We suspect a truck failure. <coughs> I suspect a driver failure. Right, let's go out.
Yes. Good night, DJ SB. Right. Now we have our train. Now we get to drive a train. Have you seen all the lights on this thing? I don't think you can turn them on, though. Do you know how to turn them on? It's like an ES44++. I think they've kind of overdone on the uh, the, the mottled metal thing as well. This sort of... Uh, you can get in the cab as well. But I don't think you can zoom in or anything. But your controls are like simple controls, essentially. Um, so let's uh, out of here. This is the map. We're down here at Diesel Engine Depot, and we need to get to D1, which is here somewhere. Um, so I need to climb up that way first. So how do we navigate our way round? What we do is we get moving, <coughs> and then we can see this. So switch to the city. I need to flip. Switch to the Diesel Engine Depot. to the city. Go to North Station. That's it. Now we're going the right way. That gets us up to there. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> Dynamic braking. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> right, we're going round the corner. Couplings for the win. <coughs> Gotta love these uh, this track, but you really do. Oh, and the junctions uh, on the ground aren't aren't set up, so they don't show you where you're going. They don't animate. Right, let's have a quick look at where we're going. North Tunnel. So West Asia Valley. I need to switch. Is that that one? No. That one. Yep. That's that one. We're okay. And then northern boundary of the east. When we get that far. to the right. Yep, that takes us round that way. So if we don't find it on this, we'll have to reverse. Because there's no other trains other than the one we're picking up, so you can kind of move around freely. Good night, E.T. I've not been able to derail it so far, Ed.
I have tried. Oh, there's green glowy things over there. <coughs> that suggests that might be where we're going. Braylar, this is Train Mechanic Simulator. <coughs> uh, so not just in theory you can go full power, it's just in practice you can go full power. I've tried it. <laughs> It, and you don't even have to couple up. There you go. We should have all the junctions set up to allow us to go all the way back. So if I just put it on maximum power. Oh, it's got a big tow rope around it by the looks of it. Hey uh, Ryan, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm a bit better than I was, Ryan. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <coughs> what can I play with? Ooh, you can play with that's dynamic brakes though, I don't want to play with that. Oh, that'd be the horn then. In there. I can't open the windows. RS Gaming is Mike Echo 4 for November Tango for the office. Well, you got to remember, Traven, is it's really not meant to be. It's not a train simulator. It's a train mechanic sim. Um, and it's a different kind of game altogether. Um, and it does the train mechanic stuff. It's quite fun. Essentially, I mean, a lot of car mechanics. Oh, by the way, thank you, Ribku, for the uh, host. Uh, and welcome to Ribku's viewers. Um, Dutch Raid Hype! Um, yeah, a lot of people were quite critical of... Um, yes, Ryan, that's it. Um, car Mechanic Simulator, because it it's not completely... I think we're going the wrong way here. Yeah? The junction changed on me. It's not completely accurate to the way that the you know, real cars would work, and it's not really the point. Um, it was It's a puzzle game, uh, and it does a quite good job of it, actually. And this is just a train-themed version. As someone who likes trains more than I do cars, I have to say, I quite like this. I was quite pleased when I saw it was coming. 
And I was even more pleased when um, Darkness Monster bought it for me. Thank you very much, Darkness Monster. It's better. Let's change that switch. I wonder why you couldn't just click on these. That was the only thing that... They've got this complex system up here. Why can't I just click on these? You can't. Anywhere you click, it just toggles it up and down. Right. Damage transmissions in the truck. There they are over there. So we've got to take uh, that bit off. And that bit off. That bit off, and that bit off. Right. Let's see if we can repair anything. <sighs> 30 grand, a 15% chance of repair. Hmm, let me think. Uh, tablet. Drive gear. That is what I'm looking for, isn't it? $46,000 is not a mistake you want to make. <coughs> Two drive gear. Uh, what I will do, actually, thinking about it, is I'm going to sell that one. And I'm going to sell that one. And then I'm going to go into a car... Drive gear, go, go, and again, shopping cart order, yes. Uh, now we need to be in installation mode, that's better. Room the other side. And pitch. Woo, got lots of money. Welcome back, Peach Lake. Hope I'm drinking plenty of tea. Yep, I'm drinking lots of tea. Right. The main railway station informed us that a locomotive pulling passenger cars has not arrived on time. Check what happened. Leave the garage, yes. Right, so that's all the stuff I'd done previously, so now I'm I now I'm um now I'm sailing into uncharted waters. Find the derailed train near the coast, square E4. At least it's not raining anymore. Square E4. So it's around that way there. This train looks well battered. So we're going around the coast.
All right, somewhere around about roundabouts here. What's wrong with lights? Why do you hate lights, Pishlik? <laughs> in E4. Oh, there it is over there, look. Well, this doesn't look very happy. found it. Right. So last time I did this you stopped as soon as I got in the green thing. Right. X to start Kramer. That, that brake feet. That brake was nice. <laughs> Press X to start crane mode. All right, how do we do crane mode then? W S A D, W S for the boom. How's that? Okay, yeah. Uh, height is Q and E. Okay. Rotate. Everyone's going to want this in T S World now, aren't they? Can't have it. <laughs> Wow, this is a tough crane. Uh, height. I take it we're all coupled on now. We are. I have to say, that was quite funny. That fun? Funny? Fun! <coughs> yeah, maybe we do need cranes. <laughs> Let me when we say that's not realistic. It's not done like that. You'd need fifteen people, fourteen jacks. Get to train depot. Pa ching that's what we're looking for, I think. Yep, yeah, that gets us in the right place. <coughs> hey you get us, how are you? I have to say, the graphics do look rather nice. Yeah, I probably agree with that, actually, Trevor. And it's sort of like a, a really nice. If this, I mean, if trains was re reached this level of quality, that would actually be a quite good step forward. But I think it's the track that makes it look trainsy. The actual ground and the, the world looks really good.
I kind of wish this in and out of the, the between the two worlds was a bit smoother. But I can see why they've done it that way. Damaged engine mountings in both trucks. And we have six parts, so three parts on each truck, I presume. No look, engine mountain. So in order to take that out, I need to take that out. Let's take that out then. These out. Is that one done? Let's get this side done. Uh, do the easy one first. Remember all the parts go? No, don't be silly. I just take lots of stuff apart and worry about where it goes later on. That's for future me to worry about at some point, maybe. Oh, this looks a bit ropey as well. Let's have a look in our inventory. One, two, three, four. I have six parts that need dealing with. Let's have a look on the mechanics workbench. We could repair one, two, three. Looks like we can repair the lot. Uh, Ribku, you're thinking about getting Liverpool Manchester route and the class 92, but aren't there more trains for that route or any of the ones that comes with it? For Liverpool Manchester, I think the peak is Liverpool Manchester as well. I can't remember what else there is that you can use on the Liverpool Manchester line. Suggestions, folks? <coughs> right. All looks good to me. The others don't need repairing. It's time to put it all back together again. Do the easy one. Installation mode. Uh, engine mounting. Another one. And now we can put these on. Motor mounting brackets.
Anyone would think this is really important with the number of bolts they use. that. Let's go up the other end. And that one in there. And that's all the parts put back on. Is it? Uh, no, it isn't. Probably putting the other bracket on first, shall we? Bum, 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 all fixed. Well inside the order budget, look. Wow. Oh, the class 303. Is that Liverpool, Manchester? I thought that was... Um... Yeah, that's West Coast Mainline North, Moggy. It's SPT, the 303, isn't it? It's northern. <laughs> it from up north. <laughs> right, what have we got in the way of money? Um, you got three grand. Ah, superb. Means uh, these workbenches can get improved again. Let's find out what the next challenge is first, shall we? Right. Oh, we got three different jobs we can do. Job order number five. This locomotive was damaged during the transportation of goods. The rear truck is damaged and requires urgent repair. The locomotive drove over something lying on the tracks. The front truck of the wheel set axle needs servicing. And the locomotive stopped on the tracks and cannot move. It appears that there is a problem with the traction motors. Okay, let's just get on with number five. Do them in order. <coughs> right, make necessary repairs to the truck assembly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Let me do testing mode. Not really seeing anything standing out as being. Oh, hang on. No. wheel. No, the wheel's okay. I suspect this one probably is okay, this truck. It certainly seems to be looking alright. Oh, 
while we're here, just making sure I've not missed anything. Let's go and have a look at the other side. Our stocks are good. <coughs> That's not so good. Oh, we've got more duff bits over here. That's not so good. Well, that doesn't look good. What are we at now? One, two, three, four, five. Six, I think. The more red, yeah. If it's it goes between red and green, so um, um, the more red it is, it's. Uh... Oh, Ed, if you're waiting for steam engines, please have full cringe on. I'm sure. I certainly doubt steam engines are going to stand up to your rigorous standards. <laughs> I mean, you can pull the part out and you can get the um, an analysis of what where it's at. Check the springs. Oh, found another one. Let's just prove that they're all okay. Because most of this is going to have to come apart to get this lot off. The traction motor. But this one. No, they're all okay. Yeah, this loco above um, all three axles powered us anyway, wouldn't it? Systems all right. Uh, 
Right, anyway, disassembly. Let's get... So you need to get you off. I need to get you in well. You out. I need those off. Right. Get you out. Get those out. That one. Let's get the. Uh... Daniel says, Matt, hope all is well. Now you'll go back to Lurking. Thank you very much, Daniel. <coughs> Alright, let's get rid of that. rid of this next. I need to get rid of those. Get I can, good. Definitely going to have parts missing at the end of this, I think. Right, and then I think that was the next one, yeah. Oh, I need to get rid of that first. Let's have a look in the tablet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Yep, we've got all eight parts. Okay. Now, where's my mechanic? My my desk. There's my desks. All right. Let's start with. You. I can repair some bits, but what I probably want to do is upgrade my hydraulics workbench. That's better. We've got a better chance of getting some of this stuff repaired now. So the damper of axle box is 66%. That's the wrong work, but so that one hydraulic brake hoses we can do. about ones that are 94 percent let's go over to the mechanics let's see what we've got here steel and rubber springs we can do brake piston we can do uh, well you can upgrade your screwdriver essentially to get faster um, unscrewing and screwing. Right, so that axle box, I've got 66% of each or either of those axle boxes. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to take that risk. <laughs> it starts getting expensive when you get it wrong. But we repaired a bunch of stuff. Now, if I sell those ones, then that's probably better, actually. Uh, no need to be a party pooper. When you actually work with these beasts, you look at the game and think, man, this is unrealistic. Well, absolutely, Daniel, but this is not intent. This is... It's just trying to be a bit of um, harmless fun, to be honest. Over here, again, I think I'm just going to sell those and replace them. These ones don't really need anything doing on them. Right, okay, so, tableau. Uh, no, inventory. 
let us get two dampers and two axle boxes. Doodle 55 says, stop breaking them trains. Keep up the great streams. Says resub six month. Hey, Dougal. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your support. I've forgotten what I want. <laughs> <coughs> Damper of axle box. Alright, there's damper of axle box. And axle box. <coughs> Look, a wheel axle is 21,000. The whole truck frame is only 20,000. <coughs> right. Got tea over it. Well, to be honest, all games are the same way. Well, that's why they're games, and you're only paying a few quid for them. If you pay a million pound for something and it's not quite right, I think you can definitely complain. Now, having done that, I can go into my inventory and sell. Sell. Sell and sell. We now have an inventory full of good stuff. Where did the good stuff go again? Is it on this one? No, must be on this one. Yeah, this is missing all the bits. Right, okay, let's put bits back on. Um, installation mode. Put one of those on there. One of those on there. Is that done? Let's do this one. Break stuffs. Let's put that on. Let's go and uh, just. We've got some money, so why don't we just upgrade the uh, screwdriver? Speed things up a little bit. Well, that made so much difference. It was so totally worth it. Right, got to put all these brake pistons back on now. You're worried about me building a traction motor. Think about more about the fact that I'm messing with the brakes on a train. Yeah, think about that. Now what do we think? Those hoses on there. Daniel, I hope you ain't a contractor for CXX, because uh, if you are, you're afraid to go to work. <laughs> right, put the brakes on. I think I'm doing a pretty sterling job, actually. Right. Let's have a look at the uh, the bill of goodies thingies. All good. Under, bud under budget.
But Matt, you guarantee you what? No, I don't. Don't be silly. All repair jobs are sold as seen. Right. Number two. This locomotive drove over something lying on the tracks. The front truck of the wheel set axle requires servicing. One bit. Estimated 19950. So that's the front axle then, I guess. Yo, look at the state of that axle. <laughs> Just double checking while we're here. Make sure it didn't do any other damage. Doesn't look like it. Hey, Francois. Oh, I'm a lot better than I was. Right, okay, so, disassembly mode. In order to get that out, I need all that stuff off. Blumenek. So that has to come off. This has to come off. This has to come off. We need now. All that stuff has to come off. Well, that's this one, this one, this thing. Brakes have to come off next. It, out it goes. Right. <coughs> I think it looks fine now, isn't it? It's a boco. It'll do. Job done. Moving on. Probably pushing my luck here. 100% chance of repairing it? Oh. Go for it. else I need to worry about there. Right, put it all back together again. Axles in. Uh, brakes. Put this one back in. Engine mounting. Put that on. Put that on. that on the that on that one nearly there that one Ronak Gaming! Thank you, Ronak. Right. Check my inventory. Any bits left over? No bits left over. In which case, wheel axle replaced. Well under budget. Thank you very much.
Right, let's do the last one of these. Locomotive stopped on the tracks and cannot move. There is a problem with the traction motors. It must be towed to the workshop to make repairs. Choo choo time! I like the unbranded Union Pacific SD70s. <laughs> Find the damaged locomotives on the tracks in square A4. A4 is over here, which means I'm going to pull forward and then I'm going to reverse back round to A4. Fair enough. What they've done here quite cleverly actually is they've almost built a kind of shunting puzzle element in it as well. Right, it's got the path changed. Around there, up there. That gets us into A4. Oh yeah, the layout is almost absurd. But it serves the purpose. <coughs> yeah, as Dave, as Dave says, it's exactly the same as car mechanic. But with trains, with trains, you got this bit as well, which is a dynamic you didn't really have. Although in car mechanic, I think you could actually do, um, you could take them out for test runs around a circuit. Oh, Moggy's bubble has been burst. No, it isn't actually a real location. Oh, cars there. That could have been interesting if I'd gone the other way. Oh, it's an electric choo-choo. I'll be fixing you later on, sir. Right, A4 is where we're going, so we need to figure out where in here our busted train is. Well, no, I wouldn't have been fixing it later if I crashed into it. I'd have been fixing it now. <laughs> Your next job is to fix an electric train, though it seems that some idiot drove into it. <laughs> yep, yeah, I know, we've done two or three now, um, Egiris, so... We're in A5, swing around. More power. Uah, more power! There it is. It's to the right. Let's change that switch. Oh, I see. A and D turn that switch. Ah, I didn't know that. Hey, down the man. Hey. 
Hey, it's crane time! It's like spin tires, but with trains. Wants me to turn it round. I don't know what could go wrong. It seems perfectly reasonable to me. It says I can press C to unhitch the hook. What happens? Oh, it won't let me do it in midair. <laughs> right. A reverse and we will go. Get back to the depot. This is a Thomas the Tank Engine episode. <laughs> I do wish with all these lights they could just actually turn them on. They've gone to all the effort of putting all these fantastic numbers of lights on. <coughs> Still going the right way, which is good. How does this compare to car mechanic? To be honest, the mechanic, the, the mechanic is the same. Um, and um, I mean, there's some quite interesting, you know, ways that you take the engines apart inside the car. So, yeah, I'd say this, you know, quite comparable actually. And there's some quite good DLCs for it. I could stream a bit of car mechanic if people are interested in that. Not tonight, but at some point. That's true, actually, yeah, and all those lights and not one of them points in the direction of the crane. <laughs> See you later, Ryan. See you tomorrow. <coughs> uh, no, I don't have truck mechanic, um, Dave. I didn't hear fantastic things about it, so... I don't know if you've tried it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The uh, pilot is embedded in the rails. Oh, it's like only to be replaced with a Gronk. Oh, Ed. Class. Or a Switcher, to be honest. Even like an SW10 would have been quite good on this. Ooh, farm mechanic. Oh, that's an interesting. 
<laughs> Break suit. <laughs> right, let's go into the depot now. It does encounter resistance going around the curve, to be fair. See, that, what the trick is, uh, Metgato, that's actually not the exhaust. That's just basically, there's a big, there's a compartment in the middle where the guys do their vaping when they're not driving. <laughs> Right, what's wrong with this one then? Four parts. Find the cause of the defect in the traction motors. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess it's something to do with these. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. There you go, that's our four parts. I think that was what we were looking for, wasn't it? Yep. Right, then let's pull them out. Take this off first, I'll take these off first. Good night, Moggy. that done. What do you need to come off now? Oh, there's something around here I need to come off. Okay. Right, that's all the parts out. Got a bunch, fifteen percent chance. So we've got ten, hundred percent chance of that one. Hundred percent chance of that one. Hundred percent chance of that one. So the only one we've got a question about is that one. Fair enough. Let's repair these then. Which game is that, Francois? That's 100% chance, we'll do that. Um, electric motor car. So the only thing that I can't do is that one. Oops. Drive gear. Sell it. Got all the parts. Let's put it all back together. Mounting bracket. Uh, 
And we can put that one in. And that one on. These apparently just slot on. Nothing holds them there. That's fine. Doesn't seem... Doesn't make me nervous at all. Put that one on. Uh, down to bed. No, no, I'm going to be doing this and then uh, going to bed, I think. Spin tires is a four hour game. <laughs> <coughs> Much as I would like to. What game are we doing on Friday? I don't know at the moment. Oh, I did say we'd do open TTD, didn't we? I ought to. <laughs> I haven't a chance to look at it yet. Right, I think we've got everything in. All in, all recovered, under under budget. Boom! <coughs> right, how are we doing for cash? Six grand! Let's improve that. We haven't really looked at electricals yet. Presumably that's going to start coming soon. I think we'll uh, improve that. That's enough. Right. <coughs> we received a locomotive. There's a problem running uphill. It appears that the problem is with the main engine. The locomotive must be urgently appeared. And it appears the engine parts are damaged. Make the necessary repairs. Oh, you figured out Wheelmaster, Wheelhouse Master, have you, P Slick? <laughs> <coughs> right, four parts. What looks good? What looks. Well, not good. <laughs> None of that looks particularly bad, it has to be said. Oh, engine. This did say engine, didn't it? Engine parts are damaged. Right, let's have a look at engine parts. Oh yeah, look at this valve cover set. That's not happy. How many parts are we looking for? Just the one? No. Three more to find. Flywheel looks a bit dicky to me. No. So what, let's just take that bit off. Let's see what oh hang on, now it's looking a little bit less rosy. Oh, there you go, that combustion that fuse fuel hose connector. That one. 
and that one. That's our four parts, I think. Yep. Right, disassembly. I need those pipes out of the way. Let us check our inventory. We have four, four bits. Oops. Oh yes, only this workbench. Valve cover, hundred percent. Let's repair it. Probably over here, isn't it? No. Is it hydraulics. Ah, oh, fuel hose connector, there we go. 100% on all of those, good. Right, let's put these bits back on. Installation mode. That one. And then put the cover back on. Oh, look at that nice, nice new cover. Right, I do believe, under budget, all done, go. Good night, Morricom. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be uh, having a hot lemon before I go, actually. Right, 